one of the things we're going to talk about today is a, a new material that has the potential to revolutionise the future of not just Formula One, but everything. OK, so uh, tell us a little bit more. I, I guess this is what you've got in your hand. Yes. It looks pretty nondescript to me. I've brought some along with me. It's called graphene. It's an incredible material that was discovered about 10 years ago now at the University of Manchester in England. And this stuff boasts a set of superlatives that no other material can even come close to when we're talking about describing it. It's the thinnest material in the world. It's the lightest, the strongest, the most impermeable, so even the tiny helium atoms can't pass through it. And it's conductive of, of both heat and electricity to incredible levels. So really, it has the potential to revolutionise almost everything we do. It's something that Formula One engineers will be getting very excited about soon. So that's a piece of it in there, is it? This is a piece of graphene paper that's made up of millions of tiny graphene flakes. Um, now graphene itself is so thin it's a single layer of carbon atoms thick, something that's in itself quite difficult to get your head around. I mean, it's so thin that it would take something like three million sheets of graphene stacked on top of each other to make, to make about the same thickness as a human hair. Oh, that's so hard to get your head around. In fact, so much so, let's uh, put it in terms of F1. What can we see it used for? We could really revolutionise almost everything we do because a Formula One car, in terms of manufacturing, is made largely from carbon fibre at the moment. That was the last material to come into our sport and, and generally revolutionise it. But this has the potential to blow that out of the water. You know, it really is a, a whole new level. So if we can start making components out of this, we can make them smaller still, lighter, yet keeping those strength capabilities. So retaining the safety of a, of a Formula One chassis, for example, but making it faster, importantly. So we could certainly build the body of the car from it. What about the internal components? Well, yes, almost everything really could be, could be changed if this stuff reaches its potential. But one of the other big key areas would be the electronic side of Formula One. It's a big part of these cars. They're very sophisticated. And, and at the moment, engineers and designers are restricted with their electrical components by their size and their weight. This stuff conducts heat in such an efficient manner. They could be making these components tiny. We could be talking about printed circuit boards, you know, flat that take up no space, no weight. Cabling, the, the kilometers worth of cabling around this car that's currently heavy. If that can be made out of graphene, we could be talking about an even a very different shaped Formula One car in the future if this stuff really comes to its potential. All right, so that, that's how we can use it within F1. What about in our everyday life? Well, it could revolutionize almost everything we do. And, and to put that in Formula One terms, maybe in the future, we could be watching Formula One races on, on screens, you know, flat screen TVs that are so thin and flexible, we could fold them up, put them in our pockets when we're finished. There might be cameras that are following these cars around the track that are so lightweight that they could be airborne. I mean, that could revolutionise the way Formula One is broadcast. And so it really is an exciting time for people inside Formula One, but even people that watch it too. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, Mark, thank you so much for our insight into the future. My pleasure.